Hi and welcome to this week's Svat Torah. In this week's Seder, we read about the spies that were sent by the Jewish people to spy out the land and to check out whether this was a land that they wanted to conquer, whether it was easy to conquer it, whether it had good fruit, what the people were like over there, and to get a basic idea of where they were going to. And the spies came back and they split into two groups. You had the ten spies other than Caleb and Yoshua, that said this was a very good land, however, it was impossible to conquer the land. And then you have Caleb and Yoshua that said, no, we will be able to conquer this land, we will be able to make it there. And in the comments that are being made by the ten different spies, Rashi points out something important. Rashi says there, that the spy said, Amalek Yoshev Be'eretz HaNegev, you will find and bump into Amalek. Why did they mention Amalek? So Rashi says, Amalek wasn't really that important over there. However, Amalek had already once attacked the Jews. And the Jewish people had a fear of Amalek. They weren't happy to encounter Amalek again. And so the spies wanted to get their way through. And so therefore the spies said to them, Listen, Amalek is there. You've had dealings with Amalek. They're not the people you want to be dealing with afterwards. And they mention Amalek specifically because they were playing at the Jews' emotions. And I think there's a big lesson to be learned over here in how they acted and how we can learn to save ourselves. Sometimes people take advantage of our emotions. They take advantage of the way we feel and they try to manipulate us. And here this is exactly what's happening. The spies are trying to manipulate the Jewish people to listen to them by mentioning somebody that was really irrelevant, but by mentioning someone that they were very afraid of to create fear, to create tension, to create a certain feeling of, I don't know how we'll manage this. And we need to realize that in our lives we have certain fears, we have certain things we're tense about. And if somebody mentions them, they might just be trying something out on us. They might be trying to stimulate us in a certain way. They might be trying to get us to do certain things which we really don't want to do. And to learn to be on the ball and to realize, yes, a malik might be there, but they're not relevant. Yes, you might be mentioning something that sounds a little bit scary. That sounds like I don't really want to get there. But I need to know what is real and what's not. What is a concern and what's not a concern. Don't be swayed by your emotions. Use your intellect because by using intellect, you'll often make a much better decision. Wishing you all a very good Shabbos.